Hi, my name is Krista Swanson, and this is a five minute Farm Doc Daily. In this video, we will be answering the question what is the Paris Agreement? And taking that a step further, discussion on how the Paris Agreement is related to carbon markets. The Paris Agreement is a legally binding international treaty on climate change. It was adopted in Paris, France in December of 2015 and became effective in November of 2016. The Paris Agreement deal united nearly every nation in the world for the first time in a single agreement. It established the framework for addressing global climate change through climate mitigation goals, national adaptation plans, reporting requirements, and financial flows. I'm going to talk through some of the key parts of the Paris Agreement. One key part is the effort to limit the increase in global temperature. The limit on the increase is linked to a temperature benchmark that is set at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. The increase in global temperature should not exceed two degrees Celsius above those pre-industrial levels but all in nations are encouraged to pursue efforts to limit even further to only one and a half degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial levels. And these limits on temperature increase are to be achieved through control of greenhouse gas emissions, which brings us to another key part of the Paris Agreement, which is related to climate neutrality. So first, global peaking means to reach a peak in global greenhouse gas emissions. The Paris Agreement seeks to reach this peak as soon as possible and then start working towards climate neutrality. So once greenhouse gas emissions have been reduced as much as they can be, the next step is to compensate for any remaining emissions. In other words, we need to achieve a balance between the emissions from sources and removals or offsets by sinks. The goal is to be climate neutral by the middle of this century. Another key part of the Paris Agreement is the bottom up approach to mitigation and the transparency that that brings. Under the Paris Agreement, each country sets its own emission reductions targets. These are called nationally determined contributions or NDCs. Countries will also plan on how to meet these targets and regularly report on their progress. Countries will also update their NDCs every five years, and they are expected to show a growing progression in efforts to mitigate global warming. This structure of the Paris Agreement allows for transparency and accountability in meeting climate goals. It also establishes a cycle of progressive action in addressing climate change. Now that we've covered the basics of the Paris Agreement and key parts, how does the Paris Agreement relate to carbon markets? Even though each country is setting its own targets, its NDCs, there may be times when nations want to collaborate. In Article 6 of the Paris Agreement, the idea of voluntary cooperation in working towards climate goals is acknowledged, and three approaches are presented. One approach would allow countries that have beaten their targets to sell that overachievement to a nation that has fallen short of meeting its goals. The second approach would create a new international carbon market. This new international carbon market would allow both the public sector and the private sector to trade emissions reductions that were created anywhere in the world. The third approach is a non-market approach that would provide some formal framework for climate cooperation between countries that doesn't involve trade. An example of this might be one country providing development aid to another country for some climate mitigation efforts. Even though Article 6 of the Paris Agreement presents these approaches, 
and outline some requirements, there are many details that are still undecided and remain in contentious debate. Some countries are arguing that these frameworks would re result in countries and businesses working together and they could cut carbon emissions or greenhouse gas emissions faster than currently planned. Others are concerned that it would, uh, it would undermine the, the whole effort. Article six is the last part of the Paris Agreement that remains under debate. And it's possible for it to be settled during the upcoming United Nations Climate Change Conference in November, 2021. This is an important issue to monitor because depending on what is decided, uh, it, as far as the details in Article Six, it could change or influence how carbon markets operate in the United States and the opportunities that agriculture has to be a part of those markets. In this video, we've covered the basics of the Paris Agreement and how it relates to carbon markets. Thank you for watching this 5-Minute Farm Doc Daily.